Hey guys, what's going on? Rob from ClicksGeek. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through responsive search ads and how they work, how to use them, and why you should be using them in every campaign right now. I guess you only have a choice. Expanded text ads are now gone as of uh, June 20th. Today's like the 16th, I think, something like that. June 15th, 16th. So June 20th, they are gone. So it's important that you understand how responsive search ads work and uh, what to do with them. So before we get into that, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are a new viewer, and also check out the links in the description, lots of free trainings, courses, um, all kinds of cool stuff. All right, so we're in our <clears throat> Google Ads account here, demo account. So we're gonna go into a uh, campaign. So let's do commercial cleaning. It's gonna pull up our ad groups here. And then we'll go into an ad group and we'll go into the ads and we'll walk through responsive search ads. Right? Because obviously you are set your ads up at the ad group level. You should have to at least two responsive search ads per ad group. Um, the maximum is three that you can have, as of right now at least. So I would definitely do three if you can. All right, so we're in our ad group here, which is just commercial cleaning. We'll go to ads and extensions. Man, Google is really lagging today. I don't know what's going on. Okay, so you can see here we have two uh, commercial cleaning um, responsive search ads, right? So if you go into a responsive search ad, let me move this out of the way. You'll see here you get your your destination URL, you have your display path, which I always try to work a keyword into as well. Google will actually suggest based on your ad group keywords, what keywords you should try and work into your ad copy to give you a better score. This is your ad strength, right? So you obviously you want it at minimum good. Um, you should be striving for excellent. And, that, and when it's excellent, that'll be fully blue. And it kind of gives you more um, pointers on how to get it excellent. So if you scroll down here, you'll just see it's basically all just call to actions and um, stuff like that. So it's just eight, it's 18 headlines and four descriptions, and they're basically just call to actions. So you have to do a nice balance of mixing in keywords that are in the actual ad group and um, call to actions like licensed and insured, no contracts, plus flexible schedule, get a free quote call for a free quote, janitorial cleaning services, we clean any type of facility. So it's all it's all bullet point stuff. And Google, what they're going to do is they're going to mix and match. Their, they have an algorithm that's going to mix and match all of these ads and headlines and, and thousands, tens of thousands of different combinations to figure out which combination of what goes where, what's shown where, how the ad displays, which is the uh, highest click-through rate. That's what they're going to base it off of. So obviously they want to um, have you fill out as much as possible and I highly suggest you fill out all 18 headlines and all four descriptions. Make sure that all the descriptions are unique and try your best to make the headlines unique as well. Now this is a lot, <laughs> I understand. It's definitely a lot to uh, try and come up with 18 headlines and four descriptions because you're going to need three ads per ad group. So here's the thing though, you don't actually need three totally unique ads for every single ad group. You take, you create three unique ads for one ad group, then you clone them and you drop them into the next ad group and you just make some keyword adjustments based on that ad group's keywords, right? So that's the easiest way to do it. The most time consuming part is trying to come up with these all these freaking call to actions because there's so many different combinations you can use. And honestly, the best way to do that is just kind of go out there, go on Bing, go search other Google ad stuff and kind of see what other people are doing and see if you can take something and spin it to your own. Do not copy their ads. That's just a recipe for disaster. It's failure. It's not going to work because then everyone has the same ads. So just kind of use that to get ideas that you can branch off of on your own to create your own spin on different descriptions and stuff like that. So if you go back into the ad group... You'll see here, even even I only have two um, ads per ad group. Where was it? Commercial cleaning, right? So let's say we have our our two uh, response or two or three responsive search ads. 
Now we've got to move them over to another ad group. What you would do is go into ads for that ad group. So we did these, we did all the work and we got all of them. You're going to select them all, edit, copy, right? We're going to go back out into ad groups. And let's say you don't have any responsive search ads in commercial floor clean, cleaning ad group. So you would go into that ad group, go into the ads. And I'm pretty sure I do have them. Yeah, I do. And you would select um, whatever you have there now, edit, paste, and it's not going to do it because they're the same ads pretty much, but um, you would paste and it would drop the responsive, two responsive search ads you created into this ad group. Then you would just go into each ad and you would edit the headlines and the descriptions to reflect what is being talked about in the keywords in this new ad group, right? So that's how you do that and on and on and on down is how you do that for your whole campaign. So that's uh, just a little hack to uh, easily spread these responsive search ads around. Again, as of June 20th, 2022, Google is no longer letting you create expanded text ads or even edit them. You can't even do that. So you got to start moving over to responsive search ads now. They always have a higher click-through rate anyway. I mean, at least in my experience running these, um, they're, they're good. The like Google knows what they're doing. So they, they work, but the, the most important thing, cause we, we've audited the client's accounts before and I see people that started creating them and they'll just have four headlines and, it, and two descriptions and that's it. And then you're just leaving all this wasted space on the table where you can put call to actions to get people to click your ads more. And we all know that more clicks is more traffic, which is more phone calls and contact forms and all that good stuff and booked jobs right? Because that's the end goal for all of this. So yeah, that's how you would make your responsive search ads. And that's how you would also um, clone them and drop them in all the other ad groups throughout your campaigns. Just a little way that it's, at least that's the way I do it. It's just, it's easy. So that's why I like to do it that way. You could obviously do this in average editor too and be much faster. Um, but that's for another video. So that's all I got for you guys today. If you have any questions about responsive search ads, Drop them in the comment section below this video. All right, guys. Later.